Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mole for Thursday, the 1st of September. For many people, the beginning of spring. And if you've been outside, you'll know it has been a wonderful spring day. Following Robert Murray McShane, we have two chapters that we read in this part of his reading scheme. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 4 and Psalms 40 and 41. And there's a link. In chapter 4 of Ezekiel, he is told to create an image of Jerusalem and to lay siege to it. And then to act out various aspects around uh, what God's judgment on Jerusalem is. In verse 4, we're told, Then lie on your left side and put the sin of the people of Israel upon yourself. You are to bear their sin for the number of days you lie on your side. I've assigned you the same number of days as the years of their sin. So for 390 days, you will bear the sin of the people of Israel. And so it seems like Ezekiel is told to lie on his side and act out bearing the sins of the people of Israel for 390 days. He's to eat rationed food and and various other symbolic acts. But 390 days, that's more than a year. And you can just imagine the people, what's Ezekiel doing? No, he's lying on his left side. And a week later, no, still on his left side. Six months later, no, Ezekiel, what's he, he's out there lying on his left side. Now, he probably didn't do that all day, every day, but this was sort of portraying to the people. And this prophet comes on day after day after day, he's doing exactly the same thing for 390 days. That's a long time. <laughs> and it just made me think, we are in such a rush that we want God to work on our timetable. Maybe sometimes we, there's an Ezekiel there that for 390 days will just be lying on his left side, and we accept that. Um, and then jumping to the psalm, Psalm 40 begins, a psalm of David, I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. And I just thought, here is David saying, I waited patiently. And sometimes that's what we have to do for a God who will have us lie on our side for 390 days at times. We have to exercise patience. We have to wait for God to do his work in his way, in his time. And we need to fit in with him because to try and make him fit in with us is pointless. Um, It's creating God in our image. So um, particularly where you've been waiting and you've been praying and things don't seem to be happening and you think, what is going on? Be patient. Echo the psalmist, I waited patiently for the Lord. And as we do that, we do that with the confidence that we will join the the psalmist, join David one day and say, he turned to me and heard my cry. So we wait patiently, um, even though sometimes it's a real trial, but that's what we need to do. So I I pray that you'll have that patience and know God's presence. Be blessed.